सो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो we do the important question construction of meromorphic function with given poles and corresponding principal part and this is also known as mittag leffler theorem this is very important theorem and we, you know that meromorphic functions are the function whose only singularity is at pole finite number of pole now the theorem is if f z be any meromorphic function with any sequence Z naught, Z one, Z n of distinct point tending to infinity, such that a given polynomial P n one upon Z minus Z n means P n is polynomial in. You can write P n one upon Z minus Z n just as a naught plus a one one upon Z minus Z n plus. A two one upon z minus z n the whole square. This is the polynomial in one upon z minus z n is the principal part at the pole. Then there exists a sequence of polynomial q and z and an integral function g z such that f z can be expressed in this form. So prove since the only limiting point of z n is Infinity. So we may suppose that the sequence is such that z uh, means these all poles z one, z two, z naught. So we consider that. Let us suppose that z naught magnitude is less than z one, z one is less than z two, and up to so on because this is limit point is infinity. Now possibly z naught and no other point of z naught may be zero. But we suppose that z naught is not equal to zero. Now the function p n one upon z minus z n, this is polynomial in one upon z minus z n, is analytic at all point except at z n. Is analytic everywhere except z n. Z n is analytic at zero. And according to Taylor's series expansion. If the function is analytic, every analytic function can be expressed as a Taylor series form. So we can write this as a naught raised to power n. N is n is indexing to the point p n because p one we have p two p n polynomials. For p one here you can write a one a naught one a one one. So all these points are a naught a one n power n because of polynomial p n with radius z n. Now the series is uniformly convergent in the with radius z n. So series is uniformly convergent for mod z less than z n. Let us suppose we re take the radius half. That the series uniformly convergent inside the circle such that mod z is less than equal to one upon two z n. Consequently, inside C n, the function can be approximated approximated to uniformly by a polynomial consisting of a finite number of terms, and so there exists a polynomial q n. That consists of finite number of terms such that p n one upon z minus z n minus q n is less than one upon two raised to power n. So now consider the six series sigma p n one upon z minus z n minus q n and the finite part of series is we have taken from n is from zero to m then n is from m plus one to infinity. And also we have p n one upon z minus z one minus q n z is less than one upon two raised to power n as we have considered in last page, and the series this series is convergent. So this series is also convergent because we know that if f n x is less than equal to m n by Brester's Theorem of uniformly convergent. If sigma m n is convergent, then sigma f n x is also convergent. Sigma one upon two raised to power n is convergent. So then, by Brester's m test, the series is uniformly convergent. 
so we see that the sum function of the series is analytic everywhere except at the point this where the which are the poles and we can write the sequence as the fz as gz plus this series so thank you